what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below okay the part that sticks out adele make you feel my love i know it's a remake but when she says i know you haven't made your mind up yet but i will never do you wrong But something, something that I know with you is where I belong. It, it, I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue. I'd go crawling down the avenue. There ain't nothing that I wouldn't do. Mm. To make you feel my love. Mm. So there's somebody here that might not have made their mind up yet about what they want to do in a situation. But there is also somebody else in this situation here that will do whatever it takes. It's like, I'll go hungry, I'll go black and blue, I'll go crawling down the avenue to make you feel my love. But somebody else hasn't quite made their mind up yet on a situation. But it's like somebody's trying to say, I will never do you wrong. I known it from the moment that we met. There's no doubt in my mind that you're where I belong or I'm where you belong. So that's what she's saying. I'll never do you wrong. Mm. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna do you versus them. Let's get some energy on this side. So somebody was hiding their self and they really regret that, okay? Um, they're definitely hooking, was, were hooking up or are hooking up with randos, having one night stands, and they weren't showing their true self. Right now, their energy right now is like happiness in the reverse, bliss, happiness in the reverse. This is somebody that's very unhappy. Um, this could be the person that's like... I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue, I'd go crawling down the avenue to make you feel my love. This is somebody I feel like that probably never showed you like how much they cared. They never really, I feel like somebody comes across as a very strong person. So this person might have not been um, affectionate or intimate, right? And it's like, just because I'm a strong person doesn't mean that I don't want to be cared for. I don't want to be loved. I don't want to be, you know, caressed and cared for, you know. And I'm not talking about monetarily. And so I feel like there's an energy that happened here. There's a June bug on my plant right there. The door is open, okay. And they are attracted to the light. Um, they're very, very unhappy with the lifestyle that they're leading right now. This person... They're hooking up. They're having a lot of white of uh one night stands. They are hiding themselves from these one night stands. It's like they're not what you have seen from this person. They will never ever show anybody else. Nobody else will ever see a side of this person like you saw. Okay, where's my other one? It's so long. You know what I'm saying? Like where could oh it's right here. Um. But there's this energy here where they definitely, you know, they are, it's because they're trying to like move on or they're, they could have gotten caught. Okay. You know, hooking up, fucking with other people, doing this, doing that. And so somebody was like, if that's the life you want to live, you can't make your mind up, then I'm going to make it up for you. Okay. And they are, they're out here, they're still hooking up, they're doing their thing, but they feel very unfulfilled. With this mask here and not showing their true self, with these one night stands that they're dealing with, they're, they're not being themselves, they're being fake, they can't be themselves. 
But around you, they can be their authentic selves because you know them. So they're very, very, very unhappy. And they're living in this energy of mistakes, regret, you know, unhappiness. What the fuck did I do, right? Type energy here. Like everybody that they're dealing with is not fulfilling them they feel like they have no real vibe they have no real connection no energy it doesn't compare and so whoever this is they are very very unhappy and they're realizing that how unhappy they are uh, without you so it's like i'll go hungry i'll go black and blue i'll go rolling down the avenue there ain't nothing that i want to do to make you feel my love see they they can't show this to nobody else they don't want to show it to nobody else the energy isn't the same let's see about this person on this side spirit ancestors and guides who i feel like is the collective let's see about the collective side spirit when it comes to this person spirit ancestor and guides do you feel like this person is a shapeshifter like you know they're just faking it to make it okay because it did um you there's an energy of this being person being a snake it did pop out on this side this person's a shapeshifter they tend to change personalities when they get around certain people. They act this way when they get around this person. They act this way. And this is just becoming tiring to this person having to fake it to make it, okay? But on your side over here, see, that one did flip over onto their side. I feel like you could feel that they're a snake. Like, you see them for what they truly are now. And intuitively, you knew that eventually they were going to break your heart. I feel like this has happened before in the past where they hurt you, especially with this broken. See, see how somebody here is, there's a broken wine glass, right? And look at how somebody is trying to refill this broken, cracked ass wine glass. Like, you're not even going to be able to sip your fucking wine. Like, so there's this energy of them hurting you in the past. Them breaking your heart in the past. Them maybe cheating, messing with multiple people in the past. Them lying in the past. I'm going to have to shut the door because this is about to get annoying. Okay? Them lying in the past. And so now when they come around and they try to talk to you, there's this energy where you feel like they're just a fucking snake. I feel like you gave them a second chance. You gave them another chance. You tried to refill, even though you, they heartbreak, that card says heartbreak shattered, okay? And this says intuit, intuition, inner knowing. You intuitively knew that if you tried to refill this glass that they had already broke, and this is a, a connection that they broke to the point of like, how can you fix this glass right here? How can you put that motherfucker back together, right? And it's almost like you gave another chance or like you tried to refill this cup, you know, with them. But intuitively, you knew that eventually it's not going to work, right? You're going to, you try to sip out that glass, it's going to cut your fucking lips open. You're going to end up getting hurt again, heartbroken and shattered. You know this, you know this. And so I feel like you're turning your back to that situation. I feel like this person, they're willing to beg. They're willing to plead. I ain't too proud to beg, baby. Ain't too proud to beg. And the crazy thing is, this is taking a while, right? This is taking a while. It's been a roller coaster. Now, they're very, very unhappy. Very, very regretful. They can't be themselves around anybody else but you, so they feel like they're faking it to make it. And that's exactly what they, they're doing with that snake card. But I feel like you're turning your back to this because in this spread, it, your intuition might be leading you into another direction. The first card is this intuition card, okay? And let me show you how these come out. You got heartbreak and shattered, and look at this person turning their back to that. Now, you got call hearing from them, but this is from somebody else, okay? There's somebody that you're fated to meet or somebody that you have made, met, mate, 
Maybe you have mated with them already, okay? But this person is the person you're fated to be with. This is a very, very important connection. I feel like this could be a connection that you might have blew off in the past or that you ignored in the past because of this other situation, because you were stuck on this other situation, because you were still heartbroken and shattered from what had happened, right? You might have blew that situation off because you fucking tried to refill this broken ass glass and gave that other person a chance, whatever it is, there's somebody who didn't give up on you, an outward energy that didn't give up on you. They felt like you two, like if you and this person were fated to be together. They feel like this is an important connection. And I feel like you're turning your back on that heartbreak and that pain and you're realizing like, there is too much damage that has been done there. So I can't keep trying to refill this wine glass. Like, because they're going to hurt you again. It's going to chip some more. You're going to try to sip. Your lip going to be bleeding, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, no. I feel like whoever this is that maybe you blew off or somebody that has wanted to date you i feel like you and this person are going to start conversating a lot on the phone i feel like you will be hearing from this person very very soon but i don't feel like it's this ex now i do feel like this other person is going to be blowing you up they're going to be begging they're in they're going through karma they're like they're receiving the karma for not only what they've done to you but other people right and so they're going through probably the worst time in their life, but yet they're trying to come back and because after they've hurt you again, like you're just going to open them with, like welcome them with open arms. And there's this energy here where it's like, no, it's too broken to keep trying to refill this same wine glass over and over. And there's this other energy that you might have pushed to the side or maybe that liked you and waited on you that you're going to be calling that you might conversate with a lot on the phone you'll be hearing from this person you're fated to meet this person this was a fated meeting it's a very important connection that you have with this person and this is somebody completely different than who you thought that you would end up with because i feel like you do have this deep deep connection with this other person but there is just too much damage done to make that work. Like you try and try to make that work, but it's like constant damage control. Let's see, spirit, ancestors, and guides. We're going to get some clarifiers on this situation, spirit. Let's start with this person over here who is just kind of going through hell right now. I know I didn't see the six of, oh, options and what's under that? the eight of swords yeah they're stuck on you okay with these seven of cups they they were keeping their options open they still are keeping their options open yet they're stuck on you see there's the happiness card there's them knowing that they were the happy happiest with you right because four of wands talks about happy home contentment um financial contentment stability something just just happiness at home right and this is what they they are dreaming and thinking about here okay they're stuck on this situation and they're not realizing that you could be truly over it they're really thinking they can bring this happiness back to this situation but look what's under that not only is it the eight of cups but it's the world underneath that that's like over over for me as a reader with the world card in the eight of cups that's a cycle that is done it's over with somebody is walking away off into the night you know maybe some secrets have been revealed a half moon for me or quarter moon means like most of what somebody was doing behind your back was revealed but not quite all of it, right? So there's still some things that are being kept from you. And you know that. You know that you, you know, spirit brought you maybe one or two things, but they also like didn't bring you all the information, right? They might have thought it might have hurt you or whatever, but it was enough to make you say, look, I'm fucking done. I'm walking away from this situation. I'm over it. 
I'm over it. I'm done. But the problem is they're so stuck on you and that and bringing this happiness back to this home, but they ain't got shit to offer you. They ain't got nothing to offer you. You're focused on work and you're hurt. Okay. You're focused on work and you're hurt. Like I've got to focus on me. I'm wounded as fuck. I have PTSD from this connection. My wine glass is broken. I can't even fill it up to get a fucking sip out of it. Okay. To, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And somebody is just focused on like, I got to focus on me. I got to focus on myself. And so what are they doing? Focusing on other options. They really think that's going to fix the situation by going and focusing on other options. And I feel like when they don't get their way and they realize you're really, truly done with this, they're going to try to throw other people in their face, this, that. It is what it is. Let's see about this intuitive intuition and heartbreak spirit. I feel like there's an energy where you intuitively knew. I'm not going to take those cards. Let me get one more for this intuitive and heartbreaking shattered spirit. Let me get just one more spirit, ancestors and guides. Yeah, see, there it is. You knew intuitively this person's a player. Now, the knight is not wands. That's the fuck boy of the deck. Fuck girl, fuck boy. It don't matter what's on the card. Gender doesn't matter. This is somebody that's hot and cold. They're inconsistent. They're very passionate. So this is somebody that's good in bed. Okay, they're very, very passionate in the heat of the moment. But yet, they're hot and cold, on and off, back and forth, um... Uh, very confusing okay and I feel like there's an energy of maybe you giving them another chance and then it was like your money started like slowly draining like damn I'm putting out a lot of money dealing with this person they're coming in the way of my finances it just felt like everything was in a stagnant place for you when this knight of wands came back into your life look at how they came back into look at they were running back into your life they thought they were going to get some kind of financial gain or something or some stability but i feel like you were smart this time look at how this person is holding this pen these pentacles over their heart in their head They're, they ain't playing no games okay and so intuitively you know if you you tried to fix this connection with this person but you knew that they were still a fuck boy or a fuck girl and you know they were still inconsistent as fuck so this time you didn't give like you gave last time Mm -mm. you didn't spend money and and buy them what they want you didn't sit here and be that person that you used to be you held your shit back to see do you truly are you coming back for me or are you coming back for what you can get right i feel like they were coming back for what they can get yeah see because look death card with the ten of pentacles i feel like they were coming back for what they could get they've that financial stability and you put an end to that uh-uh. I'm not finna be fucking used. I'm not gonna continue to be broken. You're in and out and then come back when you need me or whatever it is. Let's see about this other energy that's in here. This faded meeting that the collective's gonna be hearing a lot from. Let's see about this other person, this faded meeting that the collective is gonna be hearing a lot from spirit. This is somebody that's waiting, okay? They're waiting on something to blow over. This is somebody that's very passionate. Death card again. They could be ending something in their life, okay, before a new beginning. And this is an apology coming because I feel like this person waited on you. They wanted to be with you. But then once you ended it with this other energy, they could have gotten themselves into something, whatever it is, okay? But I feel like you're going to hear a call from them about an ending and a transition in their life too. And maybe even an apology. And the Page of Cups is also an offer. So ending the death card is an ending, a transition, and a, a new beginning, right? And I feel like that's what's going to happen here. There's going to be an ending. You're going to go through a transitional period. And then there's going to be this this important connection that you're talking to all night long, this beginning, maybe an apology if they had ignored you. It's like they were trying to wait to make sure your situation was over. Maybe they were in a situation that, you know, they had gotten in while they were waiting on you to end this situation. So, you know, but they definitely are, see, whoever you were dealing with, they're coming in as a knight of wands. 
somebody who hasn't matured. This is somebody back and forth, cheater of the deck, right? But the, the other person is coming in as the king of wands. This person is already crowned. They're passionate. They're loyal. They're overprotective. They're charismatic. They're funny. People love this person. And they're unapologetically themselves. And this person is doing a lot of thinking about you right now. Because they might have gotten themselves yeah, into a karmic situation. Jumped into another situation. Because they thought that other situation you were in would never end. But it did. But something's coming through to balance out the scales with this other person. And I feel like you're going to be calling and hearing from them and about what's going on and all of that. But you're totally done with whatever the fuck happened in the past. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next. Damn, y'all couldn't see the cards the whole time. Why y'all ain't tell me? Until next time, my loves. Peace.